Welcome everyone, Drake Hawkins with you again for some more game time, but it's not normal. We are in for a new game here. Uh, this is a game called For the King. It is a role-playing adventure, squad-based sort of RPG thing. It's really cool, actually. Um, got a chance to fiddle around with it, with uh, playing with uh, my wife and... Uh, our friend Stormy and we got to uh, try out a bit of the online stuff it was pretty unstable so far the online one mind you they do warn you of that when you try to load it up uh, that we're probably gonna give it a try maybe on the co-op local uh, but for now I'm gonna play a single player so I'll be controlling all three of the characters uh, they are Elijah Hawkins the fantastic scholar we have uh, our blacksmith over here, Tyla, and our uh, minstrel over here, Ari. So we're gonna get a start here, and basically, um, this is the backstory to the game. The Brink of Chaos. The Land of Frul has enjoyed a golden age of unity and prosperity, ushered in by King Broner, a great hero and benevolent ruler. Sadly, in Broner's twilight years, that golden age came crashing to an end. As unnatural forces of chaos began to bloom across the land, Broner was murdered in his palace in the capital city of Parid by a mysterious assailant. The bereaved queen, Rosemon, stepped forth to shepherd the people of Farul through this dark time. With an unknown enemy in their midst and chaos unleashing ancient forces of corruption and death, Rosamond's first act was to call upon the heroes of old, who had helped Broner keep the land peaceful for decades. Retired soldiers and knight took mounted swords down from where they had hung over mantles, fetched creaky armor from the sheds and cellars, and set out to save the world once more. Before long, these old champions lay dead, their valor having finally failed them. The one old hero, Rosamond, had most hoped to see was Meraglio Vexor, Broner's oldest friend and former court wizard. Vexor was an expert on magic and chaos energy and would surely have a theory about these recent threats. But Vexor had vanished years ago and she could only guess the wizard had met with a dark fate of his own. Rosamond had no choice but to call on the ordinary citizens of Farul to accept a great burden, leave their homes, abandon their vocations, and seek throughout the land in search of the source of these troubles. In so doing, she was entrusted she has entrusted the survival of her kingdom, of the very civilization of the world, to the citizens themselves, and though many will surely perish in the quest. The citizens clamor to answer the call of their beloved queen. Okay, sounds fantastic. Let's see what we got here. So it's a randomly generated map. It will be telling us uh, things as we go, but your you, your start's going to look differently different than mine and so on. Um, tutorial mode. I guess we'll enable the helpers to be tutorially on us. Uh, Rosa Moore, Queen of Farul. First the wizard Vexor vanishes, then my own husband was slain in his palace. You may be the last hope of Farul. That's a bad, bad, bad news for Farul, I tell you. Seek out Hildebrandt in wood smoke. You will be told how to best aid our efforts. Your quest has begun. You must complete it within 14 rounds, otherwise our kingdom will be consumed by chaos. Uh-oh. Quest objectives. Go to... Wood smoke in Guardian Forest. Okay, so each of our characters are going to uh, party quest. Go to Wood Smoke. Gotcha. Continue. Uh, we're going to spawn a few things around us. Every character is going to roll their moves. Let's see what this Royal Tutor have to say. Master of Tutorial. Uh, movement points determine how far you can travel and are gained by testing your quickness stat. The amount of Slots tested depends on terrain, weather, and buffs. Excellent. Okay, so she got three move points. We're going to head over to Wood Smoke as close as we can. Now, all three of your characters move independently. There you go. Ari got five points. Um, we're going to move her right to about there, but we're not going to actually move her into town because then... Uh, now let's go ahead. Move in. 
Plus 4 XP. Quest completed. Hildebrandt, Royal Agent. Always good to see new faces join the quest. I am Hildebrandt, the Queen's Agent overseeing these... Uh, overseeing things in the Guardian Forest. <coughs> things are bad here. Real bad. Somebody gonna get to hurt him. Hildebrandt, Royal Agent. All signs point to some evil folks hatching a plot underground. The, great, the deepest cavern in the regions are accessed through the glittering mines. But they're recently been sealed by dark magic. Dun dun dun! My sources have spotted a strange contraption here in the Guardian Forest. Go investigate it. I think it's our best lead. Solve the cult device in the Guardian Forest. So, we are in... Uh, we get a new quest. Excellent. And this is Woodsmoke. We are not here. But rather, uh, Ari is here. Uh, you arrive in a small, quiet village. Uh, a few things we can do. We can end our turn here. A sleepy forest village. Smoke rises from the chimneys, and lone villagers go about their business. There's a quest board. We could take a bounty quest, two bounty quests, and a delivery quest. Rewarding items, gold, and XP. Well, let's uh, go for the bounty for gold. Sure, uh, the reward is 24 gold. A rabid beast man is ravaging the farm and destroying the crops in the Guardian Forest. Eternal thanks and a small reward to whoever can help us rid, get rid of this nuisance. Kill the beast man in the Guardian Forest. We accept. Oh, that's the beast man. That's it. Hmm. Kill the beast man in the Guardian Forest. But continue. Okay, she's now out of moves, and it's uh, Elijah's turn. Getting four points. I think we're going to see about getting him in here. Yep, let's go in there. That's going to bring him into combat. Oh, oh, what is this? We have found Lucky's Vault, home of Fergus the Mad. This haunt, we know about those, or we haven't, we don't know about those. Um, haunts, they eventually, when chaos happens, they d spew out scourges. This haunt can be sealed by defeating the Scourge within, or risk it awakening when chaos rises. <laughs> okay, we'll avoid him for now, thanks. Let's go over here and fight, what is this? Battle Radius. Friends or foes in highlighted hexes will join in combat. Ambush an enemy to isolate them in combat and gain initiative or sneak past them to avoid combat. All right, so we got some options here. This is, shows the enemy level, and there is multiple enemies. It is called a swarm. Hmm, there's probably three or more of them. Uh, we could fight. We could ambush. We would need... Success would be all four, and that's these points, and I don't think I even have that much. Uh, 66, maybe. Let's uh, see about ambushing. Can we succeed? Nope. Very, very bad failure. I guess the battle is on. <coughs> Ow! Ooh. So this up top... Ooh, miss. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Ooh, he took some serious beatings. Wow, that was rough. So up here shows the uh, battle progress. On the right is the per current person to move. And then it goes uh, along from there. Uh, who is this? Who's taking their turn now? This is Tyla, I believe? No, this is our minstrel, Ari. Okay, so these are her options. She can flee. Uh, she can um, try one of these two moves. This is Alto with a perfect gives the ignore resistance. And uh, magic damage does single target. At the bottom it shows single target. Magic damage of six and per slot accuracy. I'm not sure what that means. The per slot accuracy, 87% or 78% chance of each time of these things succeeding, I think. This is a single target stun potential, so we'll go with the alto. And let's focus on, I guess it really doesn't matter. Three, minus four, da or took four damage there. Who's this? This is Elijah's turn, I believe. Yep, area blast. Okay, so he's got uh, surge. Our area blast, he could uh, right click to focus, which would actually ensure that one of these three is successful. Uh, we're just going to click it and see. Oh, she got the damage off. 
She has a chance as a minstrel, a chance of encouraging the team. Uh, giving them, basically filling one of their success slots. We have Shockwave for, our, this is our blacksmith. She can do Taunt, which will draw their attention, has a potential to draw their attention. Um, focus, which is a single target smash, doing 10 damage, that would take them out. Or there is a Shockwave, she's our main damage dealer. Uh, she could do a bonus uh, perfect 19% chance to get 19% chance I believe is what this means to get uh, perfect and if she does perfect I'm guessing that's for by filling all four I'm not sure uh, then her damage is an extra five splash damage this is single target and it would splash to the other two if she succeeds let's go with that and splash damaged around, taking one of them out and leaving the other two very damaged. Ooh, took a hit. Nope, another one at her. Oh my gosh. Ouch. Taking some damage here. These guys. They're bad. Oh, that was two of the two. Ooh, took him out, but almost failed, but took him out anyways. And uh, let's do the smash damage. Boom. Done. Just, just one port. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Cloth shoes. Who gets to collect these? Um, let's have the minstrel collect and equip those. Actually, we'll just collect those for now. Uh, makeshift spear. Um, I guess our blacksmith can collect that. Don't know if blacksmith wants to use that, really. Okay, so we got some seriously damaged folks. Uh, Tyler's got some damage. Let's go into town and see about tending to that. Actually, what's this do? What's this do? Uh, rest here. Safe camp. For two turns. Rest here. Meditate. Or leave. Plus 25 hit points. Okay. Uh, how about you go here as well, and you rest as well. Okay, and we'll go in there and we'll all rest. Good, we're all back up to good health. And uh, Tyla's chance to move. Let's head out. We want to head towards this guy as our quest. Go over and join Tyla. Elijah, can you make it that far too? Yes, you can. Let's go a little further, actually. What's that up there? I don't know. Alright, we're going to come over here, but not attack. And actually, I'd like to look at your inventory, because we got some new stuff, right? This makeshift sphere. What are your... What does this do? Okay, that's strength, and this is... Hmm, okay, so this is a different sort of move. Shockwave is really her specialty, so I think we're going to keep it for now. I'm going to leave that. Um, Ari got cloth shoes. Can she equip those cloth shoes? Sure she can. Nice. It gives her a bonus of what? What did that do? Talent bonus? Really? Yes. Uh, cloth shoes does one resistance, one talent, and two luck. Fantastic. Okay, good. And whose turn is it? In turn for her. Ari. Uh, see if you. I think you can initiate this fight, right? Yes, you can. I don't think we'll bring anybody else into the fight. No, it won't. Uh, you are level one. Let's just get right in there and get the fight on, shall we? <coughs> we didn't initiate that fight. <laughs> Ow! Jab in the face. Uh, action slots. Each action slot <clears throat> tests one of your seven main stats. The higher your stat, the better chance of success. Okay. So, if this is her... This is 
Folk. No, that's not focus. What is that again? Talent. Uh, so this ability, these abilities use talent. I see. Single target, single target. Let's do, who are we going to focus on? Let's choose the timber wolf and let's focus on him. Boom! Minus six damage. Or six damage to him. And area blast. This is intelligence and he has 78 intelligence. Let's take a wolf. Nice. And damage a bit of the other two. Steadfast. She's like, yeah, no, knocking that off. You can't hurt me. All right, let's go shockwave. Two, three out of four, done eight damage to one of the beast men. Good. Ooh. Ow. That's a nasty place to pause that. Okay, so she got a debuff, I guess. Royal Tutor says... Any ailments, buffs, and debuffs that a character has are shown next to their portrait. Learn more about each of their effects and how to cure them in the encyclopedia. Tell me more. What is that one? That's this. Bleeding. Take 6 damage infrequently. Max 18 damage. Ouch. Ah! Ow, she's bleeding now. Oh, oh, she's bleeding all over the floor. You're dropping triangles. Ari, stop. Or, yeah, Ari, stop dropping triangles. That's terrible. Uh, let's go... Yeah, let's go also on this guy. Minus two. Not spectacular. Uh, area Blast should take out one of them. Nice. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. Oh, Stunder. But that's okay. Because somebody else is going to take care of this. Ha-ha. <laughs> Good. Ari is no longer bleeding. Gold coins. 24 gold coins from completing the quest. Tyler, you can take them. A traveler's tunic. Plus one armor, plus one resistance, plus three evasion, plus two awareness, and minus two talent. Well, um... Elijah doesn't use those, so I think he'll equip that. A wooden buckler. Plus three evasion. We'll get Tyla to collect it. She could equip it. Using herb retrieves re relieves the effects of poison. Uh, okay, Ari, I think you will collect that herb. Uh, complete. Excellent. That was the quest completed. Now, uh, Ari's a little bit damaged. She has an herb that would heal her the poison, but not really a big deal. Tyler, good coin, 42. Nice. Okay, gonna end that turn. Plus one HP at the end of the turn. Gets four movement points for Elijah. We're gonna move towards, but not into the event. Oh, a little bit of more cleared space. Three points of movement for uh, Tyler. Move her in place. She's got 27. Nice day, plus two movement. I think we're going to skip those two movement points. Gets two XP. Or, oh! Does she get two because she had movement points left? Shows a circle around her thing here. It's still some things are buggy. I think this is just showing because it's still stuck from before. Uh, test yourself. Shift click for more information. Let's shift click. Cult device. While traveling in the wilderness, one will, will happen upon a variety of situations and encounters ranging from fortuitous to outright deadly unknown encounters marked with question marks may be identified with the identity identity scroll click to continue well this is a cult device let's see what we have what happens here uh, focus focus can be used to encounter uh, on encounter rules to boost your odds of success replenish focus by resting in town safe camps or with various consumables okay uh, who is this? Is this Tyla that's doing the strength thing? Use focus. Hurry. Yeah! Success! Book of Lore. A rare manuscript of Farul's studied histories. Uh, can be used to unlock secrets throughout the land. Fantastic! 
We got the Book of Lore. Collect. Aha, 6 XP. Great work. They'll think twice about leaving their junk in the forest. Um, that does what for us? Oh, hello. Somebody is uh, here. Uh, looks like the those purple-robed folks didn't appreciate us breaking their big toy. I'd say it's time we formally introduce ourselves. Best prepare for a good fight. Kill the chaos leader in the fort in the guardian forest. That's still we still have to do that in that amount of time. Sheesh. Don't know. Let's see this this quest deadline is still running. Uh, Elijah got some moves. Got the moves, yo. Stone hero, tribute to receive full focus. Uh, we already have full focus. What about this thing? Let's go fight this beast one, shall we? Uh, level zero multiple. Fight him! Aha, we're all here in three bees. Ooh, poison damage. Slashy slice and some poison damage. We have two poisoned characters. Oops, we only have one remedy for poison. Uh, use focus... Using using focus can be the difference between life and death. Most combat rules can be focused to guarantee success. Cool. I don't think we'll use it this time. We're going to do the area blast. We got encourage for one of them. Half dead by all. That's great. Uh, single target. Uh, I don't know what really matters. That's one down. And, oh, dodge. No. Can you take a couple more hits here? Oh, man. They're really focusing on Elijah there. Uh, we'll go ahead with the ultimate again. Done. Ari's doing some good damage here. Dodge again. These are, these are agile little bees. Aha, but so is Ari. Good dodge. Smash time! She got one of them from Focus from the Minstrel. Excellent victory! Loot the fallen corpse and find... Honeyed Sponge. Permanent plus one to magic resists. Whoa. Uh, who do we want to give plus one to magic resist? Um, resistance. Let's give... Tyla, plus one to magic resist. She's pretty... Um, again? She got two magic resist. Wonderful. Well, that seems to have been worth it. Good XP. Uh, day one. This is still day one. Oh, yes, time of day. That's night time, and that's quest deadline. Hmm... Kill the Chaos Leader in the Guardian Forest. Ten rounds left. Alright, move on. Uh-oh, Timberwolves. We will all be in on this fight. Uh, it is just a single Timberwolf. Doing a bit of damage. Oh, she's still poisoned. That didn't wear off between fights. Blam! Minus seven. Uh, you can do whatever move is most likely to hit him. And that finishes him. Good job. Plus two gold, plus two gold, two gold, XP. Yeah! Dancing Nettle. Uses herb while traveling to gain additional movement points. Use it in combat to increase attack speed. Hmm. Who needs increased attack speed? Well, I think we'll collect that for... Tyla, because she's our damage dealer. Minus two hit points for being poisoned. All right, well, that, I think, is where we're going to hold it for now. Um, she already has full focus. Again, plus 12 XP. Well, I, um, yeah, pay tribute. What's that do? Archibald. 12 XP. Tyler gains full focus and plus 12 XP. One day your deeds will be celebrated as well, hero. Hooray. Oh, it looks like you'd put her face over that. That's funny. Um, well, that's gonna, where we're going to cut it. Let me know what you think of this uh, new game. I think it's uh, cute and fantastic and uh, a lot of fun. So this is For the King. 
a, uh, as you can tell, a little bit of a roleplay squad sort of a game. Um, yeah, character builder. I, I love it. It's uh, cute and very unforgiving because we're probably not going to survive much longer. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see how this rolls. Well, thank you so much for watching. Do uh, like if you enjoyed the game. Um, check it out on Steam. It is available now. Uh, also, uh, subscribe if you want to see more. And let me know if you like the game in the comments below. What you, uh, what you think we should be doing. Do you, have you tried the game? Let me know. Anyways, as always, I'll see you in game.